Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker and uh, today we're just going for a little spin on the bike on the Z on the Z or the Z I prefer Z Z's a better you know it's a better word Z900 RS uh, with the new National Cycle Mohawk screen up front there as well which honestly when I'm on the bike I actually don't mind how it looks uh, at all when we're off the bike I do have my camera strapped to my back seat so we can get some in the daylight photos and have a look and see what uh see what people think i've got some some interesting comments some of them pretty some of them kind of rude <laughs> but you know it's the internet so uh you kind of have to expect that when you put yourself out there a little bit uh we're heading towards a place called wendell or wendell however i think people pronounce it wendell but it i mean it's pronounced it's spelled wendell so whichever whichever way you want to say it i'm not a i'm not a pronunciation expert as i'm sure a lot of people know um but yes we're going to be just testing this screen as we as we and i'll tell you it already it, it, it definitely makes a difference on my chest like a pretty pretty sizable one um but we'll see at more speed when we get past this truck and whatnot um and then also we're going to be talking about you know why 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 tune a bike why flash a bike um, obviously you can get a bike dyno tuned uh, which if you have the money um and the available expertise in your area to do that i would always recommend that i think it's a better option than uh flashing but if you do not have the option of dyno tuning why why flash on a modern on a modern bike um and we'll go through that as as, as well so yeah if you are interested in all of that please stay tuned 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 as we ride down past um clayton in north carolina that's a uh, that's Clayton to our left. We're just kind of riding alongside it on the other side of the train tracks. Um, I do like Clayton. We've lived here now for, you know, nearly, what, about half a year? A bit over half a year since September. And I do like the place. It's quite nice. Oh, truck, why are you going the way I'm going? Jeez. Oh, they're going left. Sweet. I see more cars. We're, we're getting stuck either way. It's a... Uh, it's a weekend and Americans do love driving. It's not like uh, it's not like at home where you'd get a little bit more you know people people tended to not drive as much on the weekends because I don't think Irish people like driving as much as Americans. Also you kind of have to drive literally everywhere in America. It's just it's just part of it. But yes, um, so obviously we'll talk about the screen at the end and how I how I found it. This is my first big ride out on it. I did a little one or two like kind of little runs on it to make sure it was okay and it everything looked fine so but this is the first uh, bigger bigger run so why did i tune this bike um so first a little bit of a background on how bikes work right obviously as you all probably know uh, motorcycles now and cars have to go through emissions testing from from factory and they get type approval um so what you often get is you get a a, a not optimized you know power curve or fueling um, for the road, it's more optimized for, for emissions. And that is because the emissions take place at, at a certain RPM range. I don't know it off the top of my head for every vehicle. Um, obviously, it does differ depending on your max RPM, I think, is, is how it works, or depending on your engine configuration, engine displacement, yada, yada, yada. So uh, generally, there is a, a hole in fueling just uh, just where it needs to be for, for emissions. And sometimes you actually get like uh, vehicles that run rich because some vehicles can run better for an, from an emission standpoint uh, if they're a little bit richer which obviously brings its own host of issues um, if, if that is the case but that's why you would ch tune because most vehicles bikes especially uh, all tend to come a little bit lean from factory um, which obviously is not ideal especially if you make some modifications like I did I did headers on this I did a can and air filter blah 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 um, and what that would do is, in in a in a normal sense, it would actually lean out your 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 vehicle's fueling more uh, because you're making it easier for the vehicle to breathe. Therefore, the engine can get more air faster. Um, and it you know there is obviously an an accounting to be done there for fueling, but in general, um, the base map will only will only compensate so much. And you know then there's also things like again for for fuel economy and whatnot manufacturers will have it so this bike did have a uh, complete fuel cut off throttle so if i like and then i roll back on it was very jerky back onto the throttle whereas now it's it's very nice and even though the chain is is a bit older chain needs changing it's still like 
900 times better than stock so why you would tune generally is if you've made some modifications that's why you'd want to look at it um, or if your 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 vehicle's drivability rideability is kind of compromised from factory because of decisions they made for fuel economy or any number of other things um you know like uh the AES, the, is it AES, air, air, AIS, the air induction system valves that inject, you know, air back into the into the exhaust to kind of burn off extra fuel, or whatever else. But it, it then makes stuff pop. So, you know, there's there's there really is a a world of reasons why you would make X X Y Z changes. I'm really sorry. I thought there'd be less traffic on this road. But, alas, I was incorrect. Still, it's a good test for the screen. Uh, definitely a lot less wind on my chest, like way less wind on my chest. And we're at, what, 55 miles an hour right now, roughly. Which is the speed limit on this road, by the way. Um, even though lots of people are going a bit slower than that. But yeah, and this is quite a windy area, actually. Right here is always a little bit windier. But, you know, if you want, you can do tuning for any number of things. Like, I know with the Z900 RS, you can actually put Z900 cams into it. I've seen that done. That obviously would require a dyno tune. But basically, maps from different, different manufacturers. So, like, where I got this from was Ivan's Performance. Obviously, that is a performance-orientated map. Uh, it's to get more speed out of the bike. Uh, more power out of the bike at the cost of your fuel consumption now obviously with a bike like this that isn't my you know daily commuting bike it's it's more so my fun bike for you know days like today it's saturday and and you know track stuff that is why i got this one uh tuned because i didn't really care about the fuel economy whereas with the the v-strom there's only so much I would ever do with that and um, you know at, at some point I might I might tune the V-Strom as well just because I'd be interested what you can actually get out of it but obviously the gains aren't going to be anything like on this one because I wouldn't want to sacrifice too much of the you know the daily fuel economy and whatnot uh, from the V-Strom. V-Strom rides great actually as it is it probably could use a tune though because it does have a can and air filter and it does have a slip on so i'm sure it would help it um from a longevity point of view as well because that's that's the other thing if your bike runs lean or rich it does over you know over the grand scheme of things it will affect your oh spicy it will affect your bike's longevity this road looks nice So, you know, there's a, there's a lot of reasons to, to, to do that stuff. But you have to remember there's always trade-offs, caveats as well. So, I mean, with the, with the tune like this one, um, obviously one of the trade-offs is fuel economy, which I don't personally care about. And I mean, if I'm riding with, um, with Toaster and she's on the CB750 and she's also still learning, so rides at a bit of a steadier pace than me um it still does unbelievably well on fuel i think it was getting like 55 miles per gallon when i was riding with her the last time which is pretty good this looks kind of dirt no it's okay it's just a bit choppy Ooh. But what would i think about this tune divin's performance one i've done Quite a bit of riding on it, um, both slow speed and some higher speed, nothing track yet. And I have to say it is very well behaved. It's a really, really good tune. Um, you know, you give Ivan your your mods. So, you know, I told him I had Delcovic headers. I had a KN air filter. Um, and that's about it. You know, I didn't I didn't go for the, the higher rev limit or anything like that. I just wanted you know, more power across the rev range, which I got. And, you know, he also makes all the rideability adjustments around um, the throttle and everything else. One thing that does, you know, re require to be born in mind, to be remembered, tucked down. Okay, so 
I mean, when it's a lot of wind coming directly at you and you're on like, a, this is very flat. I don't know, can you see here, but it is very flat. The screen does take a lot off my chest, but it's still hitting me up high. But I think on track, if I tuck as much as I can, uh, it will definitely make a difference because it kind of lets me get the crest of my helmet just um, just on the top of that screen there. So this is a pretty area. I don't think I've ridden this road all the way to Wen Wen Wendell, Wendell before. So yeah, pretty. Hey, hey, hey. Look where you're going, buddy. Uh, oh, that's a cool little house. But yeah, it, it pulls better everywhere. So I mean, from a... Um, a rideability perspective, I think the Ivan's, Ivan's performance tune uh, has definitely done what, what you know I wanted it personally to do. So very pleased on that front. Because um, it definitely could have, I mean, it could have turned out different. I think this screen would be great for someone just a little bit shorter than me. It's, although it's not, you know, it's not hitting me under my neck, so it actually is pretty much perfect for, ooh, more spicy, spicy road stripped. It is kind of perfect, because what you really don't want is you don't want the air hitting you, like, just under your chin, because it, it, like, kind of lifts your helmet, and it, uh, you know, that can be very, very unpleasant, so um, that's not something that you ever really want. To do, you wanna you wanna try to keep that wind hitting you above your neck at you know at minimum. This bike is very fast now, um, and I haven't you know obviously on public roads there's only so much I can get on it, but it is it is very very fast, and I love. You know, another thing that I really like about it is, you know, the fact that, that Ivan has options for several different exhausts. I mean, Ivan's performance, and I don't want to understate how much work uh, that man, or his team, I suppose, has put into, you know, these, these tunes, because they obviously had to have a Z900 RS, they obviously had to, you know, do all these runs on a rolling road themselves, he has all the... Um, he has all the maps, or the results from the different maps uh, that on his website and whatnot. It's really, really impressive. And so far, I mean, I've only put a couple of hundred miles on the bike since uh, installing everything. Because like I said, it's not my commuter, but that's all been kind of fun riding different roads that I'm not used to. And it is just a very well-mannered bike now. Um, like really, really well-mannered bike. Before it was still nice to ride, but now it's it's better. Now it's, it's kind of like how it should have been from factory, uh, if that makes sense. Like, anything up to 6th gear, it pulls better in. And it, it, it always pulled quite well um, from 1st through to 5th. But now 6th also does feel a little, like a little bit more usable, you know. Um, so, you know, overall, really, really happy with it. Really, really happy. The only thing, like I said, I was, well, I was trying to say earlier, but I forgot. To bear in mind is um, Ivan's performance does turn off your uh, O2 sensor. Now, he's not using that anymore, so... The map is the map, because um, I don't think, no, there's no upstream, there's only one O2 sensor. So he, he he does not use the O2 sensor, okay? So one thing that, you know, obviously you do kind of want to, hey, you don't want to th think about with that is if you go from sea level where I am now, or, you know, close enough to sea level, up, up a mountain, uh, it's obviously going to get richer the higher you go because of the, the availability of air. So... That's something that I do plan on testing. At some point, I'll ride over to the mountains and I'll ride up up to the peak of Mount Mitchell, which is the, the tallest place there, and just see, you know, how the bike runs. Um, because, you know, I recently went over to the mountains on the V-Stram. V-Stram ran great low down, up high. It didn't matter. Uh, actually, it probably ran better up high because that bike is probably running a little bit lean. So, obviously, the higher we get, um, the less air availability there is. So, it actually would even itself out essentially um it would it would rich in the mixture a little bit and then that that would actually probably bring the bike back to back to a, a better a better place so you know that's something to to also think about but yeah overall i mean uh, no complaints on on the tune uh, very very happy with it very happy with the service um 
you know, pop the ECU out, watch my video on popping the ECU out, do not cut straps, please, for the love of God, don't cut, cut the straps, there's no need. Um, you know, the turnaround was like, when he got it, he was he shipped it back same day. So, I mean, I had it back within like four days, I think it was, which is absolutely incredible. Um, and have had zero issues with it. The bike turned on, fired up, um, everything still works, you know, uh, not that there's much to work on this, but I mean, all my, my little computer bits, like my range and everything else, all of those still work, which, uh, which not, not that I particularly care, but they are definitely uh, nice to have. So, you know, it's nice that they still work, I suppose. Um, actually, I, oh yeah, I forgot. The only thing I wonder, and I don't know can he change this, but it would have been nice, is um, when I turn this bike off, it keeps turning back on the traction control to, oh, that's sand, to level one, which I'm not a huge fan of. Are you ready? As I said, uh, this bike pulls now, and it sounds great when it's doing it. Um, <laughs> like that wasn't even you know full throttle. That was just just revving it, revving it up, revving it up to nine. And it, it, I mean, it likes it. There's no flat spots. It pulls, it pulls a whole wow, lady. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, actually, one thing about America is these houses. You know, one of the things I used to love um, about America is like in Ireland we have pretty restrictive planning laws that you can only build X, Y, or Z. And uh, in America, you know, you have a little bit more freedom around that, which I personally love. And also Americans, by and large, tend to have big garages, which I also love because it, it lets people have the freedom to work on stuff, to learn how to work on stuff. Um, and a lot of the new places I see being built around here are, you know, turning into houses that do not have garages and I really hate that because uh, I think it kills it kills the ability to learn stuff you know what I mean I just don't like it I think I think like these houses are well and good and all if they were affordable they're not affordable uh, which is uh, you know another another issue I suppose um, they're actually still really expensive but uh, I would be much ha like okay, single car garage. That's fine. You know what I mean. That's fine. You can you can do you can do a certain amount of work on them. Um, but then even over here, you get you get things like oh, you can't work on your own car in your garage or your driveway or whatever else for HOA insurance things. And it 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 just makes me sad because you know I get asked all the time like, how did you learn to do this stuff? And uh, happily, luckily. I grew up in the country. I grew up uh, with a dad who worked in construction, so there was always a you know a workshop and tools there. And I, I am a firm believer in if people have uh, the ability to be able to learn something, um, you know, then then if they if they want to, they will. You know what I mean? If you, but if you don't have if you don't have the setup there for someone to to learn something like if they, if they even if they don't know they want to learn it. Um, they're never well. They you know they can't. You know what I mean? Um, it's like if they look at people and they're like, oh, I see. I see. For instance, the gorilla biker working on his bike. That's something I'd really like to do. Um, but I live in the middle of a city, in an attached house with absolutely no, um, no space to, you know, experiment and try things. And that makes me sad um, because I do feel that you know over time that's only going to get worse uh because i mean it's already crept in it's already here this house is already being built with like no ability to to do this stuff and then you also have you know obviously the issues that you know uh insurance and whatnot you're just not allowed oh this is not an off-roading bike <laughs> it's now that it has a much stiffer suspension it's even worse it was already bad but now it's worse um, but you gotta get you gotta get the photos, you know. You gotta get over and away from people for the the photos. So that is what I am doing. Hopefully my camera's still there. I mean, I did a. Hey, it's still there. Look at that, beautiful. Um, but yeah, that that's something that that concerns me, makes me sad a little bit. Uh, that you know people are are 
losing and are going to lo keep keep losing more the ability to learn how to do everything for instance that i did you don't need much space but you do need space um if you don't have the freedom to learn this stuff uh, it's a problem and i don't mean you need a garage you don't need a garage um the minimum you need is like an understanding neighbor or an understanding hoa that lets you work outside like you get some oil on the ground so what you'll clean it up or you won't i mean I, everyone's obsessed with their their you know their property value i can't have someone working outside because of my property value it's like have you ever tried being happy once in your life <laughs> This video is turning into something else, so I'll stop now. Um, but yeah, so basically, Ivan's performance tune, um, am I happy with it? Absolutely. Would I recommend it? It depends on your use case. It's it's a pretty affordable thing to try. Um, even if you don't do headers and all that, you can still get it to, to do all the rest of the stuff. Um, I mean, I would say if you have the money and you really want to try a tune, it's probably one of the better ones out there. The customer service is phenomenal. Um, I've been very happy with it, so... Obviously, if I encounter any problems over the next year or two with this bike, I will update. Um, I will update. I will do an update video and let everyone know. But for now, for sure, pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with it. And then, yeah, so this Mohawk screen. Looks-wise, I'll put some photos on the screen now. I'm still unsure about it. I don't hate it, to be honest. I actually think it looks okay, especially out in the sunlight. Uh, and being behind it, it definitely takes wind off my chest. So, quite happy with that um and you know people are asking why well one of the reasons is tracks track days um there's a lot of air that hits me on track days because i'm long but then also we just put a screen on the cb750 i'll do a short and i want to get home actually um so maybe myself and my wife will take some uh, some trips um you know she just wanted to get more air off her because it i mean it does beat you up longer distance so you know Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is I actually did this whole ride with my earplugs out to test the screen, and uh, yeah, um, it's been actually pretty reasonable noise level, so I don't think it adds like a crazy amount of noise or buffeting um, to your to your ear holes. So yeah, impressed, impressed honestly overall. Anyway, uh, that's it. If you've watched, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any questions on the Ivan's performance tune, uh, or anything like that, please leave it down in the comments and I will get back to you and let you know. And yeah, until next time, a special thank you as always to all of my patrons. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching again. Adios. Outro crew, what is your, your favorite thing to do to your bike? Like if you could make one single modification to the bike that you currently own, um, what would it be? I think I'm kind of done with this one for now. Um, there's one or two, like the quick shifter and stuff would be nice to have, but I really enjoy riding it as it is. Uh, the suspension and all that has just made it great. But yeah, if there's one thing you really want to change about your current bike, what would it be? Bye, Outro Crew.